What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with another cover of Duran Duran from the 1997 tribute album. Once more, shout out to friend and champion of the channel, Izzy. And we're going to listen to a tune I enjoy a great deal, Save a Prayer, by a group I've never heard of, Eve's Plum. I have to say, I like the sort of cleverness of the title. It sounds kind of like a cheeky sort of reinterpretation of an Abrahamic, scri uh, Abrahamic scriptural narrative uh, involving the character Eve. I don't know if that's actually where it comes from or if the, it's an unrelated reference, but um, I enjoy the sort of sound of the title of the group. But not knowing what style they are, I don't really know what to expect. We've had punk on the album, we've had ska, we've had a sort of metal. Um, yeah, so I don't quite know where it will go, uh, but again, I do enjoy the original, so let's see what they do with it. This is Save a Prayer. It's a cover by Eve's Plum, and it's on the 1997 Duran Duran tribute album. <laughs>
cover. Um, again, I'm not even quite sure what to label that. It was, you know, is it alt rock? Is it, again, like psychedelic tinged folk rock or whatever I called it? Um, definitely an interesting flavor. Um, again, the beginning was like, oh, you know, if it, if it came in with like hard distorted guitars, that sort of, you know, female fronted Smashing Pumpkins thing would have felt more, um, you know, significant over time. But it was really just that beginning which was giving me feels of some of the. Smash and Bucket tunes I've been going through, where the beginning it's kind of floaty and airy, and then it gets sort of hard and gritty. Um, but no, this one stayed in a sort of melancholic place. It did pick up some energy in places, and it did sort of you know go through some different phases of the track. Uh, but a melancholic interpretation, um, one that felt again you could use it in like a scene where someone's like really sad about something, or maybe like misinterpreted, you know, all those romance movies have like a big misunderstanding and then it leads to like a whole bunch of like 45 more minutes of drama and like, you know, someone's going to leave and go to the airport and you have to chase them down or whatever. It feels like a sad part in that movie you could use um, a track like that, a cover like that. So cool cover. Um, again, whether Izzy or someone else, let me know if you're familiar with Eve's Plum. Um, it's not a group I know. Um, but yeah, this is really cool going through and not only hearing songs I've come to love from Duran Duran, but hearing them played in a few cases by groups that I know from other places, uh, and then in other cases, groups that I'm not familiar with at all. So anyway, let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Peace.